ियल except for uh, mild anemia his hemoglobin was uh, 10 milli- uh, uh, 10 g per uh, deciliter and his ecg shows sinus tachycardia with a normal uh, chest uh, sciagram and when you go for echocardiography it shows that there is something in rv which is echogenic and in a short personal uh, short axis view uh, uh, rv in in uh, rv outflow there is uh, moving uh, echogenic mass and in apical uh, sh- long axis view and rv well, there are showing some apical uh, uh, mass in the rv uh, is a near a near rb a near rb apex and in modified rb focus view uh, it also shows that there is a mass moving uh, echogenic mass that uh, there was in moving an rb outflow tract and this is how a present a patient presented and our my next question is and what can we do further for this patient should we go for cardiac ct scan or cardiac mri or biopsy of the mass for the further management of the patient and this is all about my presentation thank you rashidul for your brilliant presentation any question to rashidul and this dr iskeroy we have uh, five minutes in hand any comments sir any question oh, actually dr rashidul is asking question to us he is putting question to us yes sir what are the possibilities so anything related with uh, his primary diagnosis posterior sarcoma because heart is a structure sir. where secondary deposits are very rare continuously okay. pumping organ as heart it does not allow deposition of any secondaries very rare so is it related to his primary diagnosis posterior sarcoma what literature says reveals any osteosarcoma sarcoma can be uh, deposited in sir usually literature says that uh, if uh, there is a secondary uh, primary diagnosis uh metastasis can occur not very commonly not very common uh, before going to heart it will go to lung but 
no sir, lung uh, chest x ray was no, no, completely no, theoretically normal. but in your patient there the lung was clear no, no nothing in the lung sir hello sir anybody, you... anybody from the panel or other to to can help him we uh, all... for his because he put a problem and uh, asking for some of the help, some of help or uh, or uh, suggestion sir uh, osteosarcoma malignancy which is very prone to vascular invasion and uh, it is very uncommon to find a osteosarcoma patient without a pulmonary metastasis it's a very it's a rare phenomena actually it yeah. is a routine part of surveillance so actually uh, it is very likely to be a vascular invasion uh, from the osteosarcoma yeah. as as the uh, location reveals and uh, so it's further imaging uh, cannot give us a much clue i think uh, if the we should uh, treat the primary disease uh, uh, first and uh, i think the you have asked about the biopsy but how you are going to have a, a biopsy in a cardiac lesion without right. operating this mass right. actually without an open heart surgery so right. this is this is the question actually yes sir dr rashid have you got any any point that uh, uh, concerning that you can go further investigation if you if you do not have it you can ask the panelists later after your time is finished okay okay sorry thank you sir. moderator any, any any question to uh, dr iskaroy dr somir kumar kundu would you like to say anything amol sir would you like to say or comments anything to that uh, thank you uh, good day uh, thank you good day uh, everybody including uh, nozin sir is my uh, uh, very senior teacher and uh, student thank you uh, the, uh, the presentation was very uh, uh, very clear uh, but uh, um, i think it should be uh, uh, there is a scope of uh, involvement uh, to detect uh, which uh, is the origin from where uh can we uh, i ask like to share with professor nazrul islam sir is there any scope of sir cardiac mri to further investigation as a tool of further investigation uh, 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 rashid i think uh, you can uh, consider professor uh, amol's suggestion uh, right. for that reason that, that that can give rise to the location size and possibly some of the mri consistency which can indicate some form of uh malignancy uh, again okay. that is they, they, this in uh, evidence may not be very strong but uh, in this situation that is most likely and most sensible suggestion given by professor amol sir thank you sir